Hello to all in Sentry, and welcome to Europa Universalis 4. I'm Paragon Saber, and I'm actually going to play the game this time. Uh, you know, at this point, uh, I'm pretty sure the uh, the Great Partition series is about 30 views, but, you know, in case someone in the far future decides to watch all of my things in order uh, and, and figures out that, uh, that things aren't as they seem after that first one, uh, <laughs> y yes. I, I'm actually going to play the game, for one, and for two, I'm, I'm going back on that whole uh, The Uncommon Wealth plan. <laughs> uh, I, I was initially planning on doing a run as Lithuania, trying to get the Uncommon Wealth achievement, but uh, today's May 9th, and the Paradox Dev Diary has just come out saying that they're going to be adding a lot more flavor to this region up here, including Northeastern Lithuania, so I'm going to go ahead and save that run uh, until after that update comes out. But that means I need another achievement to go for. And uh, the one that caught my eye was actually uh, the Old Alliance Reversed. Which, uh, of course, requires me to play as Scotland and have France as a subject. Of course, it'd be nice to get an easy uh, personal union, but can't exactly expect that to happen. Uh, regardless, I'm going to go ahead and just jump right in. Play Iron Man. I like to give fun save or names to my saves, so let's. Uh, I think I'll call it Och Lari. That's that's gonna work, isn't it? I'd like to think so. So Scotland. The thought here is, well, for one, let's go ahead and shut the fort off. Turn maintenance down. England's not going to be attacking us instantly because that would draw in France. And while they could crush us, uh, they'd lose in war score from having all of these siege down. So what I'm going to do right off the bat is start building spy, uh, spy networks. At, at the very least on Ulster. I'm going to check who hates England. That'd be France, Castile, Austria. Sorry, that'd be... Denmark, yeah, that's Denmark, Burgundy, France, Austria. Huh. Righty then. That's, sorry, Denmark, Burgundy, France, Castile. That, that flag's completely different from Austria. From Austria. So what am I doing? That said, uh, as fun as it would be, and as usual, I think, as it would be to ally France early, I'm not going to do that. Because, well... That's how you lose games to Scotland, by being drawn into one of France's early wars and uh, getting crushed because England ignores them and focuses on you. And France likes to wait for its war score to tick up for a long time, and that's time that England can use to stomp you. And that's sad. <laughs> so I am instead going to improve relations with Castile. They are going to be my friend. As far as rivals are concerned, Denmark has also rivaled me. Denmark rivals everybody. It's just, are you the player? We're going to rival you. <clears throat> we'll also, of course, rival England. <clears throat> Excuse me, bit of a tickle in my throat. And, uh, hmm, what can I do with my third diplomat? Well, since I'm not going after France, I don't want to take any of these three missions yet. I'd rather wait for one of them to switch out for uh, Rival of Rival. I think I'm going to go ahead and build Spy Network on Tyrone as well. That'll do for day one. I think I'm also going to go in and uh, grant generalship from the nobility. What we get? What we get? A 3-2-3. Three, three. Well, that would have been a 3-1-3, three, three, if not for Scottish uh, national traditions, so I guess I'll make do with what I have. Uh, I will also go ahead and get my light ships protecting trade. And we'll go from there. Not going to be all that much for me to do in the first few months, so I'll go ahead and go speed 4. England has allied... Navarra and Leinster. Okay, so that's interesting. Uh, generally, England prefers to... I, I've seen them in the past prefer to ally Tyrone Leinster, but that's a great thing for me. That means I can... Uh, I, yeah, 
That means I have an inroad into all of Ireland that's not Leinster and Pale. And, you know, that Ireland is the great equalizer uh, if you're playing Scotland. If you have, you know, the majority of Ireland. Uh, if you have that, then there's France claiming Provence. They do that pretty much every time, I think. But if I have most of Ireland... Ooh. Okay, so Norway or... Nah, I'll take the mercantilism. That's basically 200 diplo points. Also, how much am I making? I'm making two ducats. Let's see if I can get some good advisors. Uh, that discipline advisor would be okay. Uh, no, I'm going to take the diplo rep advisor. Make sure I can secure this alliance with Castile, assuming I don't have a silly... They don't end up with too many relations or something. Has everybody allied Navarra? Just England, Castile. So I'm guessing Castile will get the peaceful vacillation on them, or vacillation on them. Uh, assuming Aragon, well, obviously if Aragon tried to uh, take their mission and attack them, that wouldn't work well. Obviously Provence not happy with France after that throne claim. That's about enough on my claims, so I'll go ahead and up that, up the old uh, army maintenance. And uh, get ready to attack across the channel. I'm gonna bring my transports over here to blockade. I'll be losing money for a little bit, but that's not a big deal. Uh, ah, so Tyrone is instead allied Desmond. That's not all that big a deal. I mean, just means that uh, that's somebody I can co-belligerent <laughs> and take in the same war, because they're going to be separate. I squish one army, and then I squish the other. And there will be much rejoicing. Regardless, it's going to be Ulster first. They have no allies. England has claimed Ayrshire. No surprise there. And... I am gonna I'm gonna have to move as quickly as I can. Uh, as a matter of fact, ah, I'm not gonna get that extra tick on uh, spy network from them. Oh well. Claim Ulaid. One day for the CB to appear, and goodbye, Ulster. Oh, they had ships out in the channel. That's unfortunate. There we go. And that'll be a pretty easy win there. Hey! Those are both pretty good, but Stab's gonna trump 20 Pope mana, considering that it takes 100 Pope mana to, uh... Takes 100 Pope mana to buy a stability. I'll go ahead and just leave four infantry to siege down uh, Ulaid. And I am going to actually build up to my force limit. So, four infantry and one cav. Uh, Scotland starts with 18 force limit. Hey, honest merchants. Global trade power is nice. And I also need to immediately start fabricating. I'm going to start fabricating on Sligo as well. Also, I need to do this. I'll go ahead and fabricate on Leinster. They are, of course, the one Irish miner that is protected by England, but better to have the claim. Desmond has rivaled Leinster, Thomond. Well, Kildar hates them. That's the main thing. As does Thomond. So they are surrounded by rivals. That means they're not going to be happy with giving them access. But what about Tyrone? Kildar has rivaled them. Desmond's not going to be able to get its troops through to help out Tyrone, I don't think. So, GG to that alliance. Ahead and turn this fort off. I'm not going to need it.
And just let time tick, I suppose. There we go, that army's up to full. I think I am going to wait for the siege to complete, just so... Well, nah, that's wasting time. Let's send these guys across. Do this, and... Have those four do that. Keep these guys under the general. And declare... Ah, uh, you suck! Really? England has... Ugh, damn you. Damn you, England. That's incredibly annoying. I should have declared before this. I... I've never seen England take any more than three alliances at the beginning, so I thought I was safe to wait. And I was very, very wrong. So now I have to wait for surrender of Maine to hope that France sieges all of this down. To hope that... England can, uh, will be unable to defend his allies. And that means that my building spy network on Sligo makes no sense. What about missions? We do have Rival of Rival with Austria. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that. It'd be an interesting ally, but I don't think it's one that really makes much sense. Castile does. But I think the, well, for one, Austria has all of the allies. They're full up on uh, Diplo relations, I think. Yep. And and that's like... <laughs> patch 1.21 is already notorious for that. It's the too many diplomatic relations patch. Curse you, England. You... <sighs> Come on, win the siege. I'll go up to speed 4 again. It's taken far too long. There we go. Yeah. Oh, great. That's an awful trait. Poland has taken the Union. Good for them. Might look at them as a potential ally later. Regardless, Ulster is mine as are their decades. Get that cord and let the army chill since England cock blocked me. Hey. Thought this was the, the game where that might not happen, but uh they just delayed it, and I was dumb and not seizing the advantage when I could. Oh well. I'm going to send him an insult for it. I need to uh, consult them, or uh, embargo them as well. Regardless, there's all those claims set up. I have claims on... All of the miners, at least, that are in range. Uh, I guess I can go to England now. Alright, so we have the House of Burnett from the Western Isles. Ew. Uh, no. That is, in fact, not going to be our ruler. Goodbye, James. <laughs> France has actually offered me an alliance. I'm not going to take it because they drag me into any wars early, I'm dead. We're we're uh we're allying to do so. Suppose I'll compensate some traders. I thought I was... Oh yeah, that's right. I have to embargo you. Denmark 2. Power projection is a nice thing. Go 
ahead. I don't know why I was hovering over improve relations. Uh, that would not be useful at all. Alright. Take a glance at the estates. Unfortunately, the nobility start with my three low S development provinces, those being uh, Aberdeenshire, Sutherland, and the Western Isles. And pulling any land from them would make them disloyal, except for the Western Isles, which wouldn't even matter. Oh great, gonna lose even more prestige. So what happens when you give me an awful layer game? I'm not sitting around with a 141. No sir. I would actually almost consider keeping a 411, but not a 141. Regardless, he's gone. We could tell that that little baby was not going to be a good ruler, and uh, we sent him off to a monastery or something. We told him to uh, to monk it up or something. Anyways, the states. Uh, I'll probably wait until Ulster cores and uh, give that to the clergy. For the burgers. Thing is, really would prefer to just give them either centers of trade or provinces with really good trade goods. You could argue that iron's pretty decent, but it's not quite good enough in my opinion. You know, I, I want something with at least maybe three and a half. Uh, price down here. And that's not been fulfilled, so I'm going to hold off on giving the burgers territory. As soon as I have another center of trade, which will be a bit, because the only ones on the British Isles are Lothian and London, I do believe. Yep. So... Obviously, can't give the burgers Lothian, that's my capital, and uh, if I'm giving them London, I'm uh, a lot closer to my goal, let's say that. I do have enough spy network on England, I will fabricate on Pale. They did get an heir, they got a 114, so I guess I'm not alone in the uh, getting six monarch point heir uh, issue. I mean, Come on, what are we? Republics? Because that's what these rulers look like. They look like rulers straight out of a republic. There's Rival of Rival with Austria. Come back from him, and I'll probably take the Pope Mana mission now. Vassalize Tyrone, huh? I, I don't want to vassalize them. I want to eat them. Oh, I accidentally took Advanced Frontier. Um, well, I'm not going to be able to do this. So I'm just going to cycle it. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it anytime soon. Surrender of Maine still hasn't fired. I mean, I guess it's MTTH is like 36 months. But, uh, well, I'll still improve with the Pope. But. And I also have to keep an eye out for that uh, Black Douglas event, which will probably pop up sometime soon, too. I've done a few test runs since this. Unfortunately, eh, Scotland is just one of those that has kind of an RNG start. You can do what you can, but... You know, <laughs> the, the best strategy... I think a 1-3-4 I'm going to have to be content with. I mean, at the very least I'll have to be content with it until I have positive prestige again. But man, I'd rather he be a 4-3-1. Or 413. Game seems to be really hoping to slight me on admin points. I mean, I guess with national focus, that ruler is basically a 3 2 3, which isn't bad. It's basically a little bit of an upgrade on our current ruler. Desmond? No, I'm not Alan. Castile is my friend. Nobody else. I'd take Austria if I could, but too many diplo relations. All right, go ahead. Coralster. 
We'll hand that to the clergy. Seek their support. Send an emissary to the Pope. And I'm just going to take uh, admin support from there. Considering taking military support from the nobility, but the issue there is you never know when an advancement of the nobility event is going to pop up, and I'd have to call a diet to make them loyal again. Uh, I do still need to recover some manpower, and I'm going to need that at full if I end up at war with England. I don't want to, but I might end up at war with them anyways. There's the Renaissance. Right on schedule. I'll go ahead and claim Northumberland. I don't know. What do I want to do with this last diplomat? Ew. I'd rather have the uh, lessened autonomy change. Or perhaps increased, uh, increased autonomy. We'll continue to improve with my Spanish friends. And they really want me to vassalize Tyrone. No. I'm eating them. I'm not vassalizing them. As soon as somebody ends up at war... No, oh, great. So Henry VI is dead. And they have a pretty decent 19-year-old regent. But still not a good heir. I guess that's something. Come on. How about... How about Pope Manor Mission? Except I, I'm guessing my relationship with the Papal State is already too high. Oh well. I sent him an emissary, and really all that I'm trying to do with Papal Influence at this stage is have enough to take one action before I have to probably convert to Protestant. And I'm not going to be able to ally the Pope, so... Uh, Papal influence generation is going to be pretty tough, to say nothing of, you know, the ability to have or not have cardinals. So it's pretty much, can I get up to 50 before I have to convert Protestant? Because the British Isles pretty consistently do that. And Protestant is pretty good. I mean, I think it works out for up here. It's, it's tough to stay Protestant in this area. England does have some Lollards. Led by Matthew Button, 3000. And there's all of England's 30 some thousand troops. Great. France has allied Florence. Hmm. They have also re allied Aragon. Or just straight up allied Aragon. Yeah, that's a little bit more like it. They've allied Aragon who has also had their initial starting ruler die, Alphonse V, and uh, have a queen regency. Also a pretty good queen. Their heir, not excellent, but he'll do. I mean, a 226 is better than a 134. No, Kildar, I'm not allying any of you. I want to eat all of you. Okay, so there's England at war. Now it's just a matter of will he become war exhausted enough, occupied enough that I can sneak over here and eat his allies. Regardless, I can take admin tech. Tyrone also involved in this war. So, yeah, England's already... Yeah, Tyrone has some Diplo rep. But England's already uh, well on their way towards not wanting to defend them. Wonder... You know what? I am going to take this Discipline Advisor. Try to speed up my uh, Monarch Point generation. Looks like Portugal has beaten up Nevers, and England had their forts. England had a uh, a Fort Mothwald. Good work. Oh, 
close is that now? Oh, oh okay. Wow, their attitude towards enemies has suddenly shifted. They are neutral to me now. All right, let's get ready to go. <laughs> There goes our trust Amara. They also have a queen, queen regency. Hey, there's a traitor. That would counteract our king's trade, I suppose. But anyways, they also have a regent. She's not great, but their heir, pretty decent. All right. Hey, Tyrone. Will England defend you? Just barely. Come on, Burgundy. Minus 43. Just a little more war exhaustion, and I will not have to deal with England. Well, I'll still have to deal with England, just in the future. And this is the, the gateway into, into being able to fight England. Scotland's extra uh, force limit definitely allows him to fight England uh, fairly well. You know, if I'm able to get 25,000 or so. Yep, there we go. Tabor, I'm in a co-belligerent Desmond. And eat them too, and I'm also going to attack Leinster. Serves you right for allying those English pigs. All right. Let's go ahead. Ah. Uh, I'll just go ahead and clip five guys over for this. That's fine. And they've got that blockaded. I'll go ahead, get access through Kildar. We'll go down and, oh, I actually had a decline in nobility instead. We'll go down and squish Desmond. We do have a 402. I mean, we squished him easy, but... Yep, still no defense from England. I am going to wait until this army is uh, back to full strength. Don't think there's any harm in it. Good food shortage. Or I could just send one of these guys over. Ew. Guess that is the risk of uh, trying to siege down a province while hoping that one's army gets strong enough to engage. Unfortunately, every, I'm pretty sure every province is in Ireland, if you're going for it, it's going to be an attack across a river into woods. That's just how it goes. So, uh, alright, 124 is fine for uh, the Pope liking me. Status quo is fine down here. Matter of fact, I'm just going to do this. Oh, hey, look, there's the timer. All right, well, I hope you all have enjoyed this first episode of the Odd Alliance Reversed. I am Paragon Saber. This has been EU4. I hope you have a good one.